Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then uh, we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Right? First of all, uh, see the information what is provided in this bar graph. Number of students who passed uh, from two universities over the years. Here, the information is about uh, how many students are passed. Uh, each and every value is given in terms of thousands. Okay. How many students are passed from two universities, uh, University A and University B, over the years from 2003 to 2008. Uh, total, how many years? Six years are given. 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, these are the six years, and uh, each and every year. In each and every year, how many students are passed from University A and University B? Here, the white color is belongs to University A, whereas uh, the black color is belongs to University B. And the information, whatever the value is given, that particular value is in terms of uh, thousands. That is the uh, information which is provided in this uh, bar graph. Now, look at the first question. What is the respective ratio between? Here we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio between which numbers? Number of students who passed from the University A in the year 2007. University A in the year 2007 to the number of students who passed the who passed from University B in the year 2004. B 2004. You need to calculate the ratio of uh, these two. Here, University A 2007. 2007 A is uh, white color. Here it is uh, 50,000. 50,000. This one is 50,000, right? And next, uh, University B 2004. 2004 is uh, this one. University B. University B, that is black color. And it is 30 and uh, in between 30 and 40. So, it is uh, 35. So, this value becomes 35. Now, you need to cancel with the uh, 5 table. 5 tens, 5 7 times. Uh, therefore, the required ratio of these two, 10 is to 7. Option D is the right answer. 10 is to 7. Option D. Let us look at the second question. What is the difference between? Here, we need to calculate the difference between number of students uh, who passed from both the universities in the year 2007. Here, number of students 2007, both universities, A and B. A and B. And next, uh, total number of students who passed in the year 2005 from both the universities together. 2005, both the universities together, A and B. First, calculate 2007 total. 2007, here this value is 50 and this value is 60. Whereas 2005, this value is 30 and this value is 10. Right? Now here it is uh, 50 plus 60. And next, uh, everything is given in terms of 1000. So you need to multiply with 1000. After that, here also you need to take uh, 1000 into 1000 into here the values are 30 plus 10. In 2005, both the universities, 30 plus 10. So it is uh, 5, 50 plus 60, 110. 110 into 1000, that is four zeros uh, altogether. Next, uh, 30 plus 10, 40. This is 40,000. Now this is 1 lakh 10,000 and this is 40,000. Now you need to take the difference between these two. 1 lakh 7, 1 lakh 10,000 minus 40,000, which will give you 70,000. 70,000. That is the required difference between those two values. If you want the difference, first calculate their uh, totals. Uh, once you are getting these totals, it is very easy to calculate their difference. Uh, here we need to calculate the difference between those two. Here 1 lakh 10,000 minus 40,000. That is 70,000. 70,000 is the right answer. Option A is the right answer. Option A. 
third question what is the sum of students passed from university b university b in the year 2003 2005 and 2006 here we need to calculate the summation of uh, all these three years from university b here to first one is 2003 2003 this value is 30 and 2005 2005 the value is 10 and 2006 uh, the value is uh, 40 now you can add all the values 30000 plus 10000 plus 40000 if you add all these three values what you will get is 80000 80000 is the sum of all these three values 80000 Option A is the right answer. Option A. Next question. Number of students passed from University B, passed from University B in the year 2008, is approximately what percent of total number of students passed from University A over all the years? Over all the years. So here first. Uh, we need to calculate the required approximate percentage we don't want the exact value right so approximate percentage is equal to here we are calculating university b 2008 this particular value what percent of university a total university a total into 100 percentage symbol is common whenever we are calculating percentage Therefore, our required percentage, approximate percentage, is equal to B two thousand eight. B two thousand eight. Two thousand eight is this one B. The value of B is fifty. So this is fifty divided by A total. First, I will write all the values of A. This is twenty. This is twenty five. Thirty. Fifty. Again fifty. And this is thirty. Write down all the values: twenty plus twenty-five plus thirty plus fifty, again plus fifty, again plus thirty. Into hundred percent a symbol that is common. Here, which is equal to here, this value is five thousand divided by. Add all the denominators. Here it is hundred. Next. One thirty, one sixty, one eighty, one eighty plus twenty five, two not five. Now you can calculate this one. Here it is. Uh, cancel with five table. Thousand times, and this is forty uh, one times. This is forty one times. Suppose, for example, instead of forty one, if I take the denominator as forty, here I will get approximately twenty five percentage. Approximately. I don't want to calculate the exact value. I want to calculate the approximate value. If I want to calculate the exact value, uh, definitely it will take time uh, time taking process. Instead of that, what I will do is uh, instead of calculating the exact value, I'll go with approximations. Why? Because uh, here I am reducing only one value. If I am reducing only one value, if the denominator is decreases, automatically the uh, value becomes uh, more than the exact answer. So the value is more than less than twenty five and somewhat close to twenty five. So in the given options we have twenty five percentage is there. So you can go with directly option B. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Next question. Last one. What is the respect to ratio between? What is the respect to ratio between? Number of students who passed uh, in the years two thousand seven, two thousand eight, two thousand five from University A. Here, University A, first one two thousand seven is to two thousand eight is to two thousand five. You all are same university, not different university. Same university, which is uh, A. A two thousand seven. That is fifty. Uh, Next year two thousand eight, that is thirty. Next year two thousand five, year two thousand five, that is also thirty. 
So the required ratio is uh, all three zeros are cancelled in each and every term. The required ratio becomes 5 is to 3 is to 3. 5 is to 3 is to 3 that is our required answer. Once we get the options, option C is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session and uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.